Hey, Trey Lewis was the uh, Horizon League Player of the Week two weeks in a row, coming off 30, 29 point games. Uh, just kind of, what did you do to kind of slow him down tonight? Uh, really, I just played hard, limit him trying to get the ball. Every time he threw the ball out, wouldn't let him get it back. Things like that. Just not let him get the ball, so he can't, you know, go to the basket or make a shot. So basically, I just try to limit his touches. So really, that was it. It seems like you've really been limiting uh, people. It's like it seems like your defense has really stepped up once the league has started. Have you kind of felt the same way? Yeah, um, coach threw a challenge at me, and I just tried to take it and run with it. I mean, when the coaches believe in you and your teammates believe in you, it's hard not to believe in yourself. So, you know, I think going out there and trying to play my hardest, and uh, it's been working. Corey, you seem to set the tone tonight. They made an effort to get you the basketball uh, in the post, and uh, you had a really good night setting the tone early on. Uh, it was really hats off. You know, the coaches really wanted to bring the ball down low to, you know, me and Jalen and stuff like that. And we executed, you know, the guards did a great job passing the ball down low. So we all just executed the offense, what the coaches wanted to do. We listened to the coaches, good things happened. What about the development of Jalen Hayes? You know, we, we've seen it. This was a guy that was supposed to be in the rotation, kind of fell out of favor, and now you look, he's come full circle. You know, uh, he, he's an interesting person, you know. Um, he's came a long way. You know, if he, if he plays hard, you know, he's going to be one of the best players in the league. You know, he's already proved himself as a player already. He's only a freshman. You know, so him, when he plays hard, you know, you can't stop him. He's a great player. I'm just excited to see how he develops even later on in, uh, this, this season and following seasons to come. Uh, one more for you, Corey. What, what does he do for you personally? He, he really seems to lessen the load that you have to carry. No. <laughs> Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> Coach always says he wanted someone else to score on the block, and Jalen took that challenge and he, he conquered it, I feel like. you know, So the teams have to respect him a lot down low. Whenever he gets the ball in the post, you always hear the, the other coaches yell him, get out of the hand. They double him now. So it really helps us as a team out and me personally out too. You've uh, faced the top three teams in the league at home. You've won all three of those games. Uh, just how, how big is that to protect your home court? It's it's huge, you know. We then we play those couple teams on the road, you know. But if we defend home home court, you know, we have a great chance to win the league, and that's what we set ourselves up for. Any more questions for the players? Corey, can you talk about to, to with Dante when he locks down a guy like Trey? What it does for you guys to kind of take him out of the game and just kind of isolate him on the wing? Start off, Dante is better get defensive player of the year. He shut down every big player that he had challenged him. He's, you know, he's uh, <laughs> he's done everything he's supposed to do, you know, offensively, defensively. So him shutting those big players down, you know, other players have to make plays, and that's open up us for defense and half court to be able to play well defensively. And, you know, our half court defense has been really well lately, and it's all because Dante's been shut down their best player. Any more questions for the player? All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Coach, uh, start us off with the opening statement first, and then we'll go to questions. Yeah, I think that, you know, obviously for Oakland to win a game 50-something to 50-something is just unprecedented. And, um, you know, it's just never been our uh, style, our, uh, how we play. And this team, in order to win, has had to change. And they've done that. And, and you have to give this team a tremendous amount of credit. And then you have to give Dante Williams an unbelievable amount of credit. And let me, you've heard me after every game talk about these great players that have come in here and he's, how he's shut them down and all the amount of points they've scored. But let, let's look at this. Before we played Cleveland at Cleveland, Trey Lewis was the player of the week. In the game at Cleveland, he didn't score. The game at Oakland, Trey Lewis has been the player of the week consecutive weeks, two weeks in a row. He's been the player of the week. He's coming off a 30-point game. His five points tonight came on a steal and transition where Dante wasn't even on that side of half court with him. And then Dante made the mistake late in the game with no time left on the shot clock in a six-point game or a four-point game of diving on the floor for a loose ball. And Cleveland picked it up and found Trey Lewis, and it was the first look that Trey Lewis had against Oakland in two games. Now you have to give that kid credit because to be hounded the way he was hounded and to make it at that time of the game just shows you how good of a player Trey Lewis is. I'm pointing out how good he is to show what Dante Williams did. It's unbelievable the defense that he played on that young man. 
So I think, to me, that's the storyline of the game. We had a lot of heroes, Jalen Hayes, you know, all those types of things. But that job, I mean, the job that Felder did on Charlie Lee. But look at the job Charlie Lee did on Felder. There's two great point guards that, you know, kind of just isolated each other and took each other out of the game. And it came down to Dante. And, and, and then we rebounded. We out-rebounded Cleveland State. They had only had five offensive rebounds. And we shot 39% and won at home. And that, that just doesn't happen very often to shoot. That never happens for Oakland. But to shoot 39% and win, you, you just got to feel really good about your team and, and the growth. You know, we've talked all year how young we are, and nobody gives us credit for anything. And, you know, they just keep banging away and believing in themselves. They get stop after stop after stop, close win after close win after close win, you know. We beat Valpo in overtime. We beat you know, Green Bay by three, and now we beat... Uh, Cleveland State by three, the top three teams in the league. So you had to do something well. So give those kids credit. Coach, how's the style sitting with you? These I kids? hate it. I absolutely hate it. But this team's got to play this way to win. It'll never happen again. But this year we got to play this way. We don't have a guy that can go get us 30. And we've always had that for 30 years. And we don't have that. So we can't. We can't get in a shootout with anybody because Trey Lewis is going to beat us. You know, Alec Peters is going to beat us. Kiefer Sykes is going to beat us. So we got a guy that can shut those people down. So we have to play that way. Just how important is it to protect home court against those top two, three, three teams in the standings and get a win against those three? I don't view it that way. I view it as every game we play is important. And yeah, you've got to protect home court and win. But if you're going to win a championship, you've got to win on the road too. And what's more important is the maturation of this team getting better and believing in themselves. That locker room was the happiest I've heard a locker room around Oakland in three years. You know, the last couple of years have been, uh, you know, growing pains. That locker room was like the locker room during our championship years after it was over. They, they were happy, but they weren't giddy. You know, but when a team's giddy, that means they didn't expect to win. This team was happy, but they took care of business. And that, that's... That's the greatest sign for me, is to walk in there and know they believe. You guys came out kind of sluggish to start the second half, kind of struggling to score, but you didn't panic. You used your defense to kind of, you know, keep your lead. Just talk about kind of the poise they showed when their offense wasn't exactly clicking. Well, that's that's our team, and you know, we went to Cleveland State. They were ahead nineteen to two, and then we went twenty-two to three on. That's just how we play. We're a team of runs. Usually, you're a great offensive team when you do that, but we're a bad offensive team, and that's why we have, because we can go seven minutes without scoring. And uh, the bottom line was is that we grounded out defensively. We didn't give them, you know, we, uh, in the first half, they got a couple dump offs in, our, in the way we were trying to guard Grady. Um, then we figured that out. We went triangle and two for a little while just to confuse them and, and bought some time when they were on that run. And, and it did slow it down and bought us some time, and then we went back man to man and made the stops we had to make. Coach, what do you think LeBron thought of your team tonight? Well, I told him at halftime, I said, I, I, I just need you for six possessions. All right, we'll put you in a uniform. I don't think anybody will notice in six possessions. And then he, I looked over there, and he was gone, so I thought he was down getting dressed. I called for him with three minutes to go, but he didn't come out. So I have no idea. That's a question for Weems. I'm sure they'll talk tonight. Uh, it's kind of cool that he would support his friend like that come to the game. So it's, it's, he and Brandon are very, very close, and that's why he's here. It has nothing to do with Oakland or me or anything like that. It's him and Brandon. But maybe he's becoming an Oakland fan. He lives in Cleveland, though, so he's probably cheering for both. If he's smart, he would. Any more questions for Coach? All right, Coach. Appreciate it. Right, thanks, the time. everybody.